Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osama here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to collect payments through forms and service using the manual payment methods. Now, using the manual payment methods in Go High Level, businesses are able to track payments offline and they can introduce the ability to do cash on delivery or bank transfers, checks, and much more than that. So if you stay with me till the end, I'll show you exactly a step-by-step -step process on how to set up these manual payment methods and then how can you connect them to your forms and surveys in order to sell products quickly. All right, so I'm in my Go Hollywood sub account and the first thing we need to do is head over to the payments tab over to the left. So once we click on that, you'll see on the top right, we have the integrations tab here. So just click on that. Now here you will see all the payment integrations that are available. And if you already have Stripe, PayPal connected, that is great. You can sell products that way. But if you also want to incorporate manual payment methods, then you will see it right here. So all you have to do is click on connect and then it will give you two options. So number one is a cash on delivery method that you can easily configure it. Or if you want to set up a custom payment method, you can also click here and then you can add in the name, the instructions and enable it. Now, both of these methods are of course for offline transactions. So no matter which one of these you choose, you will be at the end of the day updating the status if you have collected the payment or not. So without further ado, let's go ahead and set up the cash on delivery. I'll cancel this one and I'm gonna set this up. So once we do that, you'll see the name pre-selected here. You can add in payment instructions like payment will be collected once you receive the package and then you can also choose to add a message here once they place an order with this payment method so it's up to you you can add up to 100 words for example we can do thank you for placing your order your order will be fulfill within 48 hours then the last and the most important option is where do you want to enable this payment method so do you want it on the order forms or e-commerce stores or forms of service so please make sure you dial this in correctly because based on this decision it will unlock this option so i'm just going to enable this on forms and service right now because i do not want to change the structure for my e-commerce or order forms because they're live in the funnels so let's go ahead and click on save here and once our cash and delivery method is added i'm going to go to products here and show you that i already have a couple of products set up here so i've added a headphone and a mobile charger of course you can create more products here and then just add their title their image and then add in their prices here I already have those set up so we're going to skip to the next step so we're going to head over to sites here and now you can either choose forms or a service based on your liking i'm going to go with the forms here so let's go to the builder and i'm going to click on add form here and then we can of course start from scratch for this example so once the form editor opens up i'm going to rename this to sell products via forms and then here i'm just going to change this a little bit so i'll get rid of this and i will also just collect full name and then i will just do the email for now and for the button we can rename it to place order you can also change the color if you want to and then you can see we do not have a product added yet but if you scroll towards the left and then you will see this payments element so we just have to drag sell products here and once you do that you will click here and then you will see an option to add products so we'll click here and from the drop down you can select the product you can choose to show the description, image, and the quantity. So let's go ahead and do that. And now you also have an option to add multiple products. So I'll just do this one as well for this example. So let's go ahead and do that. And now if you scroll down, you can rename this to anything that you like. And you can also enable coupons if you want. And then you can also play around with the layout depending on how you like it. And under product selection, right now it says multi. And that is why you see a checkbox. That means that they can buy both of these products at once if they want to. And if you just want them to buy a single one, then you can choose this option where it gets replaced by a radio button. So I'll do the multi one for now. That makes sense. And you can change the other parts of the form. It's just like you do the normal Go Hello forms. So once this is all set up, I'm going to go ahead and click on save here. And once that is done, we'll go ahead and preview this so I can show you how this works. All right, so once it opens up, you can see we have both products here. So I can select one or I can select both of them here. And I can also adjust the quantity. All of that is being written here under the order summary. And now if we scroll down, you will see we already have online payment methods, which is by default great. But now we also have an option for cash on delivery. So if I select that, it will show you the instructions right here, which we added as part of the process. 
And now if I go ahead and enter my information, we will be able to place our order. And once I do that, you can see the order will be placed. And I'll show you in a few seconds where we can easily track it. So this is what will be displayed to the user. It is the order history. Of course, you should also be asking for the address. I did not ask it in this example. But if you are selling products that you will be delivering, then you need to be asking for the address as well. So once this order is placed, there's two places where you can actually track this. So if we head back here, and I'm just going to exit from the builder here, and then under forms and submissions, if I select this form right here, which is this one, we should be able to see the submission as well as the payment amount, which is great. And right now under the payment status, it says pending, and I'll show you how we can change that. So now let's head over to the payments tab here, over to the left, and then we're going to head over to orders right here. And this is where you will see the orders coming in. So you can see exactly the source. This was the earlier one that I tested. And this is the one under the source. It says the form name, shows you the items, the order date, and the amount as well. And if you need to view more details, you will click here on the three dots, then click on view order. And now it shows you a brief summary of the whole thing, which is really helpful to see. And now let's say you delivered the products, you collected the payment at the doorstep. What you will do or what your team will do is go to this order right here, then click on collect payment. And from here, they can either click on cash or they can click on card depending on whatever you charge at the doorstep or even if you took like a bank transfer or check or other you can choose whatever you like i'm gonna do cash for now and then here you can say you know collected at the doorstep or something along those lines and then you can mark it as paid and now this order has been fulfilled. So that is how easy it was to track offline transactions in Go High Level. And using this method, you can easily sell products directly from the forms and service as well, or you could incorporate them into your funnels or even your e-commerce store. This is again a great option for businesses who do offline transactions. So now they will be able to leverage the abilities of Go High Level as well and scale their business.